Hey, what's up guys? This is D'Artagnan. Welcome back for another new game. We're going to try playing. This game is called Hobo Tough Life. It came out into 1.0, I believe, about a week ago. Uh, I've been playing it with another friend of mine. We've been having a great time. Uh, the game can be kind of brutal, so I'm going to do a new game and kind of just try some stuff that I haven't tried before and just see how we can, uh, how easy we can get along here. So, here we go. I'm going to create a new game. Okay. Alright, let's go. I don't have anybody unlocked, just a basic dude, so. Okay, here we are. Starting in the new world. Okay. Oh, whoops, I gotta change my key there. Whoop, not that one. Oh, okay, it's this one. There we go. Okay, so first things first. Um, this is going to be kind of like a quick thing where I'm going to try to make some, a lot of money. But I'm also going to like do like the quests or whatever, try to get through some of those as well. So. so this is one of the first guys you'll talk to. I'm not going to read his stuff. You can read it yourself if you want. We're just going through this to get the quests or whatever. He gives us a quest to go talk to another guy named Drax that we need to talk to. He also, um, he has things that he sells. Um, he can, uh, if you ever die, he's the guy you buy your, your stuff back from, which really you don't want to do. Um, and also, you can eventually learn stuff from him as well, once you uh, unlock, unlock some stuff. So while we're going to see Drax, well, actually, you know what? First of all, I'm going to come over here. This is called the Pit, I believe. Or something like that. What's this called? Um, shelter in the Pit. So this is one of the first areas you can build a shelter in. The area that's highlighted in red is where you can build at. Something to note here is that if you press I, there is a box here, and you can store up to 20 uh, worth of worth of uh, inventory. Now, inventory of this game is weird. It's not it's not based on how many of something you have. It's based on the slots. So now I just took up two out of 20. Um, whether I put one in here or all five in here doesn't change that number. It's so 20 different items you can hold in here as much as you want of those items, okay? So that's something to think about, okay? So you can enter your inventory and put it inside here. All right. There's a box we're going to check over here. Um, start off, you want to just kind of collect as much stuff as you can. There's things all over the place here. Another one here. All right. There is one of those things in here. I think this game kind of like, I don't know. I've played a lot of survival games. This is definitely unique in its own way. Um, if I had to best describe it, I think it reminds me a lot of playing like The Sims, only like a first person, because you have a lot of um, it, you have a lot of things you got to worry about, like your hunger and going to the bathroom and a, and a bunch of things like that. So uh, these all respawn like once a day. So once you go through and grab all these, they will respawn. Uh, anything with the red X on it means you're going to try stealing it. Stealing reduces your morale. Um, okay, we're going to talk to. This dude right here, his name's Fester. Uh, he's cooking something. Okay, gave us a quest. All right. And then we're going to go over and talk to Drax. Drax is really important because there's a chance he's going to sell you a bed. And you need a bed um, at the beginning of the game. Well, at least within the first couple of days. I like to have mine day one. <clears throat> He's right there. We'll talk to him. Okay, so this is Drax. Hey. Hello, friend. We're not friends. We're on the same side. If you say so, can we at least barter? Okay, sure. Okay, so we'll talk to him about uh, Fester. And then he'll give us um, a, area to, a place to go to. Uh, Mazer said you sometimes have useful materials, furnishings. Okay, he's going to give us some, some stuff. And our trust goes up. We'll ask about the dog. And then he'll give us um, uh, an area we can go to to get a dog eventually. So we're going to barter with him and hope... That, okay, cool. So he's got... This is perfect. He has two different things. 
um, for us to buy, and they both cost a hundred bucks. So that's absolutely, positively, best case scenario right there. Okay, so we're gonna there's two places over here. We're gonna search right here and right here. Also, this is a super awesome area because there's uh, the fire here to get warm at nighttime, uh, which you will definitely need. There's one up here as well. Like I said, these these all respawn once a day. So you can um, come up here uh, once every 24 hours or whatever and grab all of these things. You can actually enter this through the wall, just so you know. Okay, drop down in here real quick. Got all that stuff. Okay, so let's check our inventory out real quick here. Got quite a bit of stuff. We are at 11 out of 24 with our weight. Are we overweight? No, we're not overweight. Uh, I don't know what the, uh, like 11 out of 24. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four five, six, seven. Hmm. 11. So, so something obviously is different with this in, in comparison to your, your hideout loot. And I don't know what that is exactly, but yeah. But anyways, you start off with some lockpicks and some bandages. Um, we're going to talk to... So that's where we came from, is over there. We're going to head back this way and talk to the gypsies, where we can get a dog at. But they also give us a really easy beginner quest to make quite a bit of money. So, And that's what you want day one. Day one, you want to make... I don't know. I watched a video earlier where a guy made quite a bit of money. He made, about, I think, he made like 800 in the first day. Um, I would say you need at least a couple hundred. Zarr. So I talked to this guy. You're gonna cheers him. This guy is a total. Um, he's yeah, he's not a cool guy at all. Okay, I heard you get me a dog. Okay, it's gonna be 300. I'm not gonna do that obviously right now. Um, gypsies, don't call me a fucking gypsy. Okay, ready for work. Okay, he wants me to go find some stuff. Okay, um, ba -ba -ba. where can I sell scrap metal? Okay, and then that's about, what can he teach me? Uh, 30 trust to get insulin spurt, whatever. Uh, there's a chick over here you can talk to. Um, she sells in medallions, which I believe, if you die, you like lose health points, or you lose like stat points, which really sucks. And apparently the only way to get them back is by using these medallions. So don't do that, okay? Okay, so she teaches a recipe for healing salve. Okay. So we need to go over here, I think. Yeah, through this ramp, I believe. The lock picking in this game is kind of like Skyrim, or if you played Fallout, same type of same concept. Uh, there's a guy up here smoking. Uh, I believe eventually he goes back inside, and this is where we want to go. You'll see there'll be like a orange icon. Usually quest things have orange icons on them. So we're just waiting for him to leave. Puts a cigarette out, and he'll go inside. And now we're good. Okay. Oh. And then you just press E on these things. Took a little while to unlock that lock. Might not be able to get all four of them. Let's see. You lose morale doing this. We can fix that later. It's not the end of the world. Okay, so he caught us, you just run away. Okay, so unfortunately he caught us. We're going to run away. Not the end of the world. Um, uh, I think he sent our looks. I'm not sure, though. Okay, well. Oh, well. And the place you go to sell it is right over here. 
So if you, if you pick the lock a little quicker than I did, you can you can get all four. Um, it's not the end of the world. You can go back there. That guy will eventually um, walk away and leave you alone. But um, you can walk up right over here. And this is where you would sell that stuff at. So I'm going to tell him, um, boom, I just sold. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. I, I forgot. <laughs> so he gave us a scrap metal for free to sell, and we sold that. Now we're going to sell the three that um, that he gave us, that, that we stole or whatever. And that gave us 90 cash. We'd uh, get another one. We'll get, get another 30 if we get the other one, which... I'll probably go back and check out real quick. Usually you can get those pretty easily um, without that guy seeing you. Can I make that jump? What do you think? Oh, it was so close. Oh. I gave it a try. Oh, look. Thanks. We'll take it. All right. Now, once you sell this stuff, you do have to go back to what's his name and give him his share. Then he'll give you another quest to do it again. All right, come on, come on, come on, come on. Uh, oh, of course, he just came outside. Oh, how annoying. Search this grab just trash can for free, they don't care. Yeah. So yeah, so I like I said before, I think this game reminds me kind of like the Sims a little bit. Um, okay, let's go. Oh, uh, you don't have to reopen this or anything, it's open once it's open, so. Alright. Um and this and that, that stuff goes in your map, and you can select, you can deselect and select wherever you want. So for um, acquisition of scrap metal, um, we need to go back to what's his name. So we we have to give him his share, I believe. Um, yeah. Okay. So let's see the one that we have for stealing. Oh, that's fine. Anyways, let's go this way. Might be a thug here. There's guys that, that you can see in this game. They're called thugs, and they have they wear all black, and they're they'll basically rob you if they see you. A lot of times we're hiding inside that particular alley right there. I probably shouldn't have came through there to be honest with you. Uh, we'll see one eventually. Trust me. All right, so we're gonna sell this real quick. Okay, so we got. We got our we got our 190 now. We're cool. Um, let's actually go back and talk to him and give him his cut. Uh, you can give him up to like I think 80 or something like that. Um, the more money you give him, the more it'll increase your trust with him. Um, before you open it. Um, I'm just gonna give him the bare minimum. Apparently his perks and stuff that he gives you really aren't the, really aren't the greatest. So. So I'll just give him. Okay. So about that job, sure thing. It was easy, and then so you can give him 10, 40, or 80 crowns, and and this will give you basically one, two, and three, whatever. So uh, we're gonna give him 10 crowns, and he gives us one trust. We'll hit back. Um, a new job openings. I uh, know more scrap metal. I'm on it. So he gave us more scrap metal uh, to try to find. So. We'll get that eventually. We're not going to go there right this moment. Uh, up in the corner up there. How do I, get, I don't know. I don't know how to get my bar up there. But <coughs> upper left, you have the, the the temperature. Obviously, is is the 64 degrees Celsius or Fahrenheit. Sorry. <laughs> the game the standard the game standard in Celsius. You have to change it to Fahrenheit if you want it in Fahrenheit. Oh, please don't be here. He's right. There. See, there's a, there's a thug. See right there, that guy in the black? That's a thug. You want to avoid those guys. 
I really should not have ran through there. If you, if you get too close and they run up to you, and they basically make it so you have to, um, they basically rob you. So you want to try to avoid them once you get over. So I have 180 uh, crowns. They, are they called crowns? I don't know what they're called. I think they're called crowns. Um, once you get over 130, they will start mugging you. And you can either A, uh, let, just give them your money, and I think they take like 30%, or you can let them beat the crap out of you. Uh, which in that case you're going to have to um, you're going to have to um, pay to heal yourself basically or use all your bandages so not really it's not really a win-win situation to get beat up you just want to avoid them to be honest with you uh, we're going to talk to this guy because he is uh, one of the main characters in the game and he gives us um, a couple of quests Okay. He wants us to talk to people. Uh, okay. And then I think we can request a blessing. Yeah, okay, so that's cool. Teach me, eventually give us willpower. That's pretty awesome, okay. So he's one of the main characters in the game you want to get in good graces with. Uh, okay, so we're gonna go to the. There's a there's a job office over here. A temp agency, if you will. And they give you a job, and you can do this, I believe, like three times the first day. Um, you can talk to people too. Oh, look at that! And they'll give you. You can. Um, so she wants to about the church. Let's see. Okay, and then we can do convert uh, conversation. Okay, um, and then we could, and I always do conversation again because um, that's how you build up your your t your skill. And then we'll do begging, mm. and then we'll try stealing. Oh my god, we actually got it! That's crazy. I don't know what this thing is, but we might get it. I should have took the wipes. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Uh, nice. All right, that was fun. That's it. the first person I talked to. Oh well, wow. Okay. Um, Oh, whoops. <laughs> oh, cool. So I persuaded him to go to the church. Oh. All right. We're at 49%. Mm -hmm. Okay. So if, if you fail that, then they just stop talking to you. No big deal. It's not the end of the world. Okay. So here's the just temp agency. Okay. Sign up at labor office. God bless you. Okay. So here we are. Are any temp jobs available? Um, there's open excavation work. I could do that. Yep, looking forward to it. Okay, cool. So, excavation site is... Uh, let's see here. Yeah, it's it's right over here. This is, the, this is the temp agency on the map. Here's where we are on the map right there. This map is absolutely horrible. There is another one you can buy, and, and it's better, obviously. Um, we'll get to that. Excavation site is in the same place every time as far as I know. Um, it's really easy. It's kind of repetitive. There's there's um, four different jobs I know of that you can get from the temp agency. No, five. Is it five? It might be five. But anyways, you come come around these barriers over here. Um, I'll talk to her. Okay. Okay. Um, and okay. Thanks. No problem. Let me go to this door over here. Talk to Frank. Hey, hey, hey. hey, I'm supposed to be here working with you. Okay, cool. All right. Uh, he gave me a pick. You just come over here. <laughs> well, I guess I kind of went the other way. I'm sorry. You just jump down here, and you literally click this 30 times. It is completely ridiculous. They need to fix this. It'd be cool if there was, like, different... It'd be cool if you made a difference somehow. I don't know. But this is probably the most mundane, um, boring... Well, the call-off is pretty boring, too. But this is this is right up there for sure. But yeah, you just... Oh my god. Hope you guys don't have motion sickness. Okay. 
All right, we tell them, we're telling them we're done. Later, leave, done. Okay, we go up. Oh, is that? Wow, that was close. That was really close. I don't know why that spawned that guy here by me, but I'm glad he didn't uh, accost us. Okay, we're going this way now. But we're going to go ahead and turn this back in the temp agency. Well, low on stamina. Your, the green bar, which is your stamina, is directly related to how tired you are. So if I go in my menu here and I look at uh, how tired I am, I'm at 49%. Um, so I basically only have half the stamina that I had, you know, that I would have if I were to start over, so, or Maybe start from the fresh. All right, we're going to collect our pay. Thank you kindly. Uh, are there any temporary jobs available? Um, street sweeping. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Leave. Okay. So map, street sweeping is over here. Um, this is good because there's another area that we need to go to and I need to show you guys because it's super, super, super important. Oh, you can also go to any payphones, like these right here. Uh, you'll see little symbols like this on there. Check, check. And you can get money from payphones as well. I should have mentioned that earlier. Okay, so they want us to pick up trash around this area. We'll go ahead and do some of that. We need to pick up 20 pieces of trash. Um, before we get too involved in this, we're actually going to go this way. I'm going to show you guys something else. Um really important there is a place called the charity over here and they offer a lot of really good services and they give you quests and they're also important to do um, because you need to do good deeds before you can talk to another main story person um, well, there's another thug up there so this is where Charity is, right here. On the crappy map, you can see it's right there. Okay. And we're gonna go up here and Shut talk up, to her. Seat. Okay, cool. Yep. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay, it's, it's a small Charity. You've got a dog here, what's his name? Don't worry, I won't tell anyone. Um, can I just ask? I'm just doing this because I don't think... Um, okay, so we got that. Now, you could take a shower here. Um, for 30 crowns, you can do your laundry here for 50 crowns, and you can take uh, a dump here for 10 crowns. That's all cheaper than you can do anywhere else, okay? So the fact you can do all three of those things here is incredible. All right, so we're going to do Bobby looks a bit restless. We can walk him for you. We'll be right back, and we're going to take the dog with us. The dog will go to the bathroom three times, and you bring him back. So we'll take the dog with us to go do our other task, and so we'll be doing two things at once. So we'll go down here and start picking the trash up again. All right, we got some trash here. And we got some trash here. Great, okay, check that. Try to get some money from that coin machine there. Got some trash there. Okay. Uh, you know, once again, I mean, you don't have to ever play the game this way. Um, you can play the game many different ways, but I will say with this particular game. If you get behind, okay, uh, he just went pee once. Dog walking got uh, one out of uh, one out of three. Uh, okay, there is a quest guy right here. Might as well go ahead and talk to him. Fergum. Okay. All right. Yep. 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 Uh, handshake. Whatever. I see. Um, okay. So, shrug. Okay. Um, okay. Um, whatever. Whatever. Okay, so he can teach you how to do thievery and stuff eventually. Um, I think I don't really care about anything else. Okay, so we're good. Uh, we're just going to get back to this stuff. It's getting dark right now. I'm sorry, you guys probably can't see anything here, but um, it's getting a little bit dark out. Okay, we got 17, 18, 
19 and 20. Okay, let's go ahead and drop this stuff off at the temp agency. Uh, hopefully Bobby will have two more potties on the way there. Oh, another thug there. Who wants to talk to me? Alright, dog walking is done two out of three. So that's good. Okay, temp agency. Collect my pay. Thank you. Kindly. Okay, I think I, could t I can get another job from if I want to. No, okay. So we're done with that. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Um, you can actually ask her for a better job. Uh, pizza deliveries, but you'll have to come back once you, you have to do this for a couple of days and get your trust above 90. Above, uh, I'm sorry, at 20 or above. Um, now we can take Buddy or uh, Bobby back because by the time we get back there, he'll he'll have gone to the bathroom the last time. Uh, actually, there's another quest over here we should probably do. Yeah, we'll we'll go ahead and go to the if you go to the back door of the. Uh, the pr the hotel right here. You go to the back door of the hotel, and you can um, talk to the the chef in the back. He's gonna think that you are you work for the hotel, and you really don't. And let's see here. There we go. Uh, okay, you're the assistant. Say yes, that's me. Boom. Okay, and then he wants you to clean up out front. Okay. So let's go do that real quick. Okay, this isn't that bad. It's the same thing we did before, just 15 pieces of trash. Pretty simple. Uh, pretty simple stuff here. We want to get Bobby, we do, we do want to get Bobby back as soon as possible. I don't know if there's like a penalty for keeping him too long or whatever. Uh, we're gonna, um, we're going to finish this up and get the second part of the quest, and then we'll take him back. Oh, there we go. 13, 14, and 15. Okay, cool. All right, let's go ahead and turn this in real quick. And he will give us... This is a really good quest, too, because this is... Um, he'll, give you, he'll give you 200 bucks. Okay. About the cleanup. Done. Boom. Okay, um, so now he wants me to grab some potatoes. What's going on here? Why is this still... No, it's dark. Okay. Oh. oh, fuck me. Well, here we go. So, I have 394. I guess let's see how much he fucking takes. Um, wait, what's he want? Give me cigs. I don't have any cigs. Um, okay. So he took 118 of my cash. 118 I just lost because I was in the wrong place at the wrong time. That sucks. That really sucks. But that's what it is. It's either that or get beat up. And if you get beat up, in this game, you don't want to, you don't ever want to have a stat that is in the red or start in the negative somewhere with something you don't... It's just not worth it. So, unfortunately, that's just the price of, of whatever, of business, I guess. Um, I think this place is right over here somewhere, at the uh, potato place. Oh, it's this way. It's right here. Yeah, let's take the dog back first. Let's take, let's take, let's take Bobby back. Wow. 118 gold I just lost. I don't even know what the, what the math is on that. Like a third? I think you took like a 33% of my gold. 18 and 18, what is that? 36? Maybe not. Wait, no, was it, thir was it 13? I can't remember. 118. 18 and 18. No. Everything 11? Yeah, yeah. Alright, so we're going to bring him back anyways, whatever. Okay, don't mention it. Uh, okay. And then we can also get something from Free. And we're going to grab some... You know what? God, it's kind of funny because you, you do need a second set of clothes. And getting food isn't the hardest thing ever, but clothes are definitely expensive. So I'm going to get a second set of clothes. Or a second, or whatever. She gave me some shoes. That's not the end of the world, I guess. Okay. Uh, let me. Oh, she also they also sell stuff here. Okay. 
you can buy from them. And the stuff here, I believe, is relatively cheaper than anywhere else. Okay, so we're going to leave. Okay, so... Oh, man, I'm still bummed that we got that. We got that, that guy that stole from us. Anyways, um, let's go ahead and grab the potato for the for the chef. Give him the potato. And then we're going to... Uh, your temperature's going to start getting low here in a second. We've, we'll have just enough time to finish up this quest, pretty much. And then have to get to a barrel and, and get warm for the night. May, maybe we might have time to do some shopping. Oh, wait. What's the name? Has that thing I need? Dang it. Oh, man. I'm so bummed that guy saw us, dude. Okay. It's green grocer. There. I'm here for the potato. Yep. Sure. Bye. Um, I will say this, though. Even though we took 118 gold or whatever, we're going to get 200 for this quest. So, I mean, I guess in a way... You know, I don't. I mean, we're still making 82 gold, I guess, or 82 crowners, sorry, or crowns, whatever. So you just gotta be careful here, because he do, the, he does patrol through here. How annoying! I just can't believe that that just happened, dude. Lame. Okay. All right. Uh, okay, he wants to know homeless. Yes. Okay. Okay. Uh, fancy meat we want for the other guy that's over by the other place. Um, he wants us to dig a ring out. Um, let's get the frick out of here before trouble comes. All right. So that's what we got. So we got 536 gold or crowners, whatever. We would have had 650 four if we didn't get robbed that's pretty good for doing some quests and getting some stuff done so now we need to go head back to um what's his name we need to buy that bed we should probably get some supplies i don't know where i am right now where am i okay yeah, we're, going, we're going the right way we'll probably stop here let's see let's see what this is tobacconist is okay job? um let's go ahead and grab ourselves a flashlight Boom. Yep. Uh, let's go ahead and grab the map. Okay. And then he sells Playgun magazines. We're going to get two of those. Whoa. Two? That'll help with morale. And then I think that's pretty much it. Oh, we actually have a scratch off in our inventory, I think. We need to look at it real quick. Uh, yep. Let's go ahead and scratch this off. Sometimes you can win like 20 bucks on these things. But I, won, I won 10 bucks. Okay. Cool. Uh, so we'll go ahead and uh, give him that for ten bucks. Uh, he sells other stuff you're gonna need eventually. Gum is pretty cool; gives you willpower. Uh, newspaper to burn um, to keep fires and things like that alive. Uh, matter of fact, we might just buy like four of those right now. Um, we'll get six. All right, so that's that. Okay. Okay. We are also gonna need some food. Let's go ahead. We're, we're heading the right direction. We're going to go head back to where we... Oh, you know what? I forgot to do the other uh, scrap quest. The other scrap quest, quest was actually... Oh, this is the new map. The, when you up, when you get the new map, it looks much better. Um, yeah, the, the acquisition scrap metal was actually right by where we, where, we t where we took the dog for a walk and stuff. So it's unfortunate that I, I, I just kind of forgot about that because there was so much going on. This game's so cool for... One of the reasons why this game is so cool is because there's just so much to do. Every day you can be doing something different. Um, it's just a lot of fun, to be totally honest with you. It's just it's just really, truly a lot of fun to play. Uh, these are markets here. Uh, I'm going to purchase a ham sandwich. Should I get two? I'll get two ham sandwiches. Uh, yes. So I got two ham sandwiches. Still have 244. Uh, what's it called? This is a great little spot here for collecting collecting change. There are um, two phone booths here, and then these three guys here. So you can check all those. And then this leads us down to where our where the pit was. Okay. All right. 
and we're going to head over to um, talk to Drax and hope that the, the inventory hasn't shifted yet. Oh, I can use my flashlight now. There we go. I'm not sure what the durability is, is, is on this thing, but it seems to last quite a long, quite a while. Hello? All right, uh, barter. Okay, there it is. Um, to be totally honest with you, I almost want to buy both these because I think comfy bedding. I thought that that's like a, I don't know what that is. Um, I might just buy them both. I'm not, I don't know. Level one, level one. So th this one looks like you can upgrade at level one, level two, level three. This one looks like it's just, it's just not, it's not as good maybe. So let's go ahead and just grab the couch then. Okay, so we got the couch now. All right, cool. I'm assuming this stuff still doesn't respond yet. No, okay. And then I'll show you what we're gonna do over here. Because let's look at our statuses here. They're getting kind of low. They're getting kind of low. So no big deal. If I would have done the other, um, the other scrap quest, I would have lost another. Oh, there's some stuff there. This is a little off center here. That, that's supposed to be the trunk of that car, but it's kind of messed up. Um, if I would have done the other strap, scrap quest, I would have lost another. Um, 18 morale, and my morale would be broken. If anything, in this, if anything in these categories gets below like 20, um, they turn red, and then they start draining health. So if anything gets below 20, you start losing your uh, your stuff. My temperature is going down now as we speak. So we're gonna go in here. We're gonna throw in the um, the six newspapers we bought. We're gonna take our couch. Hit tab. Hit E. And we're going to take our... Well, let's put this guy down first. This guy's going to go... We'll put him over here. Okay. And then we have usable... We have our couch. So our couch is going to go... You want your couch to go by the fire. Uh, let's do like a... Okay. So there we go. There's the couch. Here's the fire. Now you go ahead and go over here, you hit R for ignite, boom, and you lay down. Open. Okay, there we go. Uh, you have to have the fire, because if you don't have the fire, then you won't sleep because you'll wake up. The fire's only going to last a minute. I probably need more time than that, because this is only 30 seconds, or 30 out of whatever. Um, so if I, could, I, I, could, I should have probably put more stuff in there, but we'll, we'll, we'll worry about that in a minute here. Literally, in a minute. You can sleep here until your, until your temperature, this is your temperature here. So you're not, you're not 40 degrees, the temperature's 40 degrees. This bar indicates how, like, how you're doing as far as temperature goes. So, and you can notice that it's kind of getting dimmer in the background here. Uh, as the fire goes out, and then this will start going down. Once it gets to right about here, um, once it gets to right about here, it'll w it'll automatically wake you up because you're freezing, and then you'll start mm -hmm. taking damage. So we'll let him sleep until that happens. Mm -hmm. uh, I guess I can get up now. You know what? Let's get up now before that happens. Actually, let's go in here. We've got plenty of useless junk. I might actually burn a couple of these too. There we go, and we'll go ahead and light it up, and we'll lay it back down. What is, see, I wonder what that is right there. I think that, that I thought that that was comfortable bedding. I know that's cardboard. I don't know. That's why I kind of wanted to buy the other comfortable, comfortable bedding because I wasn't sure if you could use that on top of the couch and then kind of use it as like a double, like a double bonus thing, or whatever. But I don't know. So we're just gonna hang out, I guess. No big deal. Uh, you can go ahead and. Um, like do things at nighttime. Like you can go um, shop or check coin things or, or do things like that if you want. Um, but you have to be conscientious of your of your warmth. 
and you have to be, you know, you have to know where you can and cannot go. There are other free fires that are always burning um, in different parts of the city. There are also places that have uh, my morale's broke. See that little red thing there? That means my morale's broken. So right now I'm taking, da I'll take damage, start taking damage because my morale is, is broken. So. Uh, but anyways, there's other barrels in the city in different places that you can burn yourself uh, to get your warmth back. But ultimately, until you get warm clothing, you can't do too much at nighttime uh, because you'll because you'll because you'll get too cold. So. All right, we're done sleeping, so we're going to wake up. I'm going to do inventory management real quick. We're going to grab in here. I want to put all my crafting materials in my... Um, okay. Right. What's this thing? Most likely unethically bred in a cage. I don't know what that means. Uh, my map and then return bottles. Okay, cool, cool, cool. All right, so what else we got on this? Okay, we got this. So I'm going to use this because it gives me 100 morale. Boom. No, I didn't use that, damn it. Uh, inventory. So my morale's broken. I'm going to use that. Boom. Now I got 100 morale. Okay, now I need food. I'm going to use this. Now I have 67 food. You're always constantly trying to keep track of these stats and keep them in the whatever. Like I said, once one stat goes in the red, you start losing health. It's just not good. This gives me plus four cold and plus two water resistance. So those are good shoes compared to what I, what I originally started with. All right, we're trying to get cold now, so we're going to go back over here and hang out for a minute. Uh, if you ask Sister Agnes for clothing, you can, and you get something you don't want, you can break it down and use it for other clothing and things like that. So, something to keep in mind. Okay, well, this was the first day. This was day one. I've still got 152 gold, or, or crowns, uh, on me. Um... I think this is pretty pretty big success here, in my opinion. Um, definitely better than the first like three or four times I played the game myself. Um, I did watch another guy play earlier today. Um, he was on like day twenty-seven, and he was literally rich. He had like tens of dozens of hundreds of things in his inventory, uh, and he said that he made his money because he, after the first day and getting set up, he started just begging people. He went up to everyone begging, 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 because you have skills, right? You have these skills. You're trying to increase your your skills and stuff. You're trying to increase these skills to go up to level, you know, whatever. So you can, and so once you get these, you, you can, um, you get perks and things like that. So the game is very, very, um, there's a lot to it. And uh, the ultimate goal is to get these people to gain, you want to gain favor with them, and then you want to get votes with them, and then you want them to eventually um, make you the, 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 the beggar king. And I think you have one season to do that. So I don't know if that means, like if that's one year or whatever. Um, I do know that after like nine or ten days, uh, in the game, it turns to winter, and then at about 30 days, you get this thing called a, um, a calamity event. Um, that's like a blizzard that lasts for a few days, and so the goal is to be prepared for those kinds of things, or whatever. So, um, but I am absolutely loving the game. Like I said, there's so much to do. It seems like it's a simple game, um, whatever. I mean, there's base building. There's all these, you know, there's there's all these crafting recipes you can do. These are all things that you can learn eventually and do. Um, I don't know. You know, you just it's just crazy. It's completely insane, um, all the things you can do in this game. So, anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this. And I will catch you guys in the next episode. I'm going to take off for now. I didn't want this to be a too, too long video. Hopefully, you learned some stuff. If you have any questions or any comments or whatever, please let me know. Uh, I appreciate you guys watching. Take it easy, guys. D'Artagnan, out.